Hello there. So today we're going to take a look at how people see you. What do they think of you? Um, so basically, how are you coming across? Um, so here we go. We have uh, two piles to choose from. This will be pile one. And we have pile two just here. Pause the video if you need to, um, and away we go. So let's look at pile number one. Hello, whoever chose pile one. You chose the iron pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. I think it's beautiful anyway, even though it's, it's not real gold, but people did get confused a lot in the past. That's okay. Um, so here we go. I love the sparkle on that. It's very seasonal. Okay, it's pile one. How did people see pile one? What did they think of them? Oh, we're stopping there. That was very fast. That's okay. Well, I think they think of you as being very lucky. You seem to, um, you seem to do really well for yourself. You know, financially, uh, always in the right place at the right time, making the right choices, uh, financial decisions. Like you, you know, in terms of promotion and things like that, you always seem to um, be very lucky. This is a card of having, like you always get a helping hand. So this one right here, I feel like people may well be jealous of you because you have assistance, you have help, you have support from people. Um, at least that's how they see it. Okay. Um, we also have, well, look, they see you as being quite tough. Uh, Queen of Swords energy can be very intimidating, okay? The Queen of Swords does not suffer fools gladly. So they think of you as being very straight talking, very logical, kind of, you know, kind of hard to please sometimes. Um, now, if this is, if I feel like we're looking at work situations here. So if you were, you know, tuning in, with work colleagues in mind, this is definitely for you. This is how you come across. If it's family, I think, you know, all, all relationships, um, I kind of feel it's it's still the same. It's still that same energy, but I feel like that Queen of Swords is a little bit like harder in the workplace, you know what I mean? Um, but I think, yeah, somebody here, they're, they're, I feel <laughs> Christmas is coming to mind. They, they're very aware that, you know, you might be a little bit difficult to uh, buy for. They may be struggling here. So make sure you let people know what you would like and, you know, how they can, uh, you know, spend their hard-earned money on you this year, okay? <laughs> um, help them out. We've got uh, the moon here as well. So, yeah, some people think of you as being kind of secretive. You know, there's definitely a lot of deep layers to you. You, you know, it's not always obvious to people what's going on with you. Um, it, I don't think you wear your heart on your sleeves, although you may feel like you are very open. Um, so do keep in mind here, people find it tough to work out what you're feeling, how you're thinking, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I think although you are very direct with how you communicate, people do seem to think that you keep things hidden or you keep things to yourself sometimes. And, you know, that's not a bad thing. It shows that you can be quite trustworthy. Um, they can trust you to keep their secrets, for example. Uh, we've got... Yeah, look, we've got the devil here. Now that's really interesting. So if they, <laughs> doesn't mean that they see you literally as the devil, but it the devil is quite good when we're talking about finances and wealth because it's very much to do with material matters. 
I think what we have here is often people look at you and they make assumptions. Um, do keep in mind though, you may not be able to change how they perceive you. So, you know, know where to put your energy. It's not going to be worth your time to try and persuade people that you're different. Okay, they have to kind of learn to see that for themselves. They see you here as well as being able to kind of problem solve, you know, you're able to overcome obstacles and hurdles, you seem to just get on really great. I think overall they see you as being very successful. I do feel a lot of jealousy coming towards you, um, you know, it could be from a particular person. Uh, in fact, I see somebody here, a lady in particular, it could be a family member or a very close friend. Um, but I see this person being quite jealous of the things that you have, or it seems to be like you have a lot of luck. Could be even on social media, like, you know, you seem to be doing better than they are. Um, and, uh, you know, you may not actually be, because we've got a few cards here that are saying the reality as they see it is not true. It's a false reality, and they're not really accepting you know, all of those things. Yeah, look, they see you as being very lucky, well-traveled, um, always, in, like I say, always in the right place at the right time. Um, yeah. Generally, I feel like they see you as on the up, uh, you know, doing really, really well, and that you have, it, it's sort of like, how high can you possibly go? Um, so that's, I mean, it's nice. It's nice if you want to come across as being strong, independent. Um, this is exactly how they see you. This is exactly how you're coming across. So that's lovely. Um, all right, pile one. So that was your read. Thank you for watching. If you want to hang around for pile two, you know what I say. You are more than welcome. Um, so let's dive on in with my pile twos. Let's just cleanse. Thank you. So, hello pile two, if you chose uh, the blue lace agate, welcome. It's a beautiful stone. I feel like it may not come out as you know, be justified on camera, but it, it's there and it's gorgeous. Right, so here we go. Let's have a look. How do people see my pile twos, please? How do people see? Oh, we're stopping there. Quick shuffles today. Oh, look. They see you as being very loving, nurturing, giving, supportive. Um, all of those uh, kind of feminine characteristics, those sort of pure feminine characteristics. They're, this is what strikes them when they think about you, when they see you. Um, so they do, I think, with that, expect that you are going to be loving towards them, generous towards them, generous with your time, with your attention, with your feelings, you know, very, very loving. Let's see what else we have. We have, oh, kind of confused. Sometimes you don't always, this is now, this is their perception because we're asking how do people see you? So this right here is a confused energy. Maybe, you know, not always certain about yourself in terms of what direction or what action you're going to take. Um, yeah, see that Eight of Swords there, it's somebody who kind of, they have everything you, that they need to help themselves, but they don't see all of those things, you know? And um, so if someone's seeing you with this kind of energy, it, it, it's either you're confusing them or they just see you as this kind of, I don't know what I'm doing kind of energy. But you get that sometimes, especially with guys, if they see a lady who is very nurturing and, um, you know, gorgeous and, you know, loving and all the rest, they also think of them as kind of lacking guidance or uh, lacking self-control. Like they're lacking in something that 
prevents them from having direction in life, okay? So I feel like this is a very male energy that I'm picking up on here and how they see you. Um, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. The moon actually came out for pile one as well, but this is the card of karma. So just here, I think they do think of you as being quite mystical, quite, um, you keep things hidden sometimes. You do have a lot of deep layers to you and, you know, they don't understand you. <laughs> oh, bless them. They do, they, but look, you've got Queen of Wands energy as well. So very attractive, very appealing, very kind of um, magnanimous. That is the word that comes to mind. Um, very charismatic. But this is it. That they love all of these different things about you. It's like you are the epitome of what they would expect in a woman. You know, you have everything here. But they don't really understand what that all means. <laughs> or what to do with all of that. <laughs> they just kind of, I think they're expecting you to know. So they kind of, they want you to take charge a little bit maybe. But uh, or, like, when I say take charge, they want you to show them what to do here. How to behave. So it's like they need you to give them some clues. But I think they wouldn't pick up on the clues anyway. Because if this is too much for them. They, you know, they, they, there's no hope really. Um, so they need you to be very kind of, this is what I like. You need to do this. You need to take me out. You need to call me. You need to text me. You need to talk about your day. You need to, you know, just be a person. Um, and that will help. So we have here as well, the nine of wands. So this is kind of, it's an interesting energy for how they see you because this is a, a delayed, uh, you know, things being delayed for you. So I think here, they think you should be um, doing something different with your life or you could be doing um, other things that you have lots of talents. You can see here, um, and I think this is why they see you as being confused because they think you should be doing different things or making more of, the, you know, your qualifications or your experience. Um, so it, for them, it's kind of confusing that you're not doing these things. We have the Ace of Wands here as well. So this is creativity. They do see you as being somebody who, um, almost like a muse, you know, where you are inspiring other people to uh, be creative, take action, problem solve. There's lots and lots of things here. Um but I think also they expect you to, they're kind of thinking that you're almost a wallflower, that you just kind of sat there looking pretty and being lovely to people, but not really doing what you should be doing or what you could be doing. I'm just going to see if there's anything else here. I am getting all of a sudden like a tension headache. So if this is you, because um, as I'm talking about it here, it's lifting. Um, this is meant for you, okay? Um, it doesn't mean it's not for, meant for anybody else that's watching. It's just um, they want you to pay attention, okay? The wallflower thing is something that really resonated here and that's what set off the, the tension in, in my head. Um, so if that's a trigger for you, pay attention to that. You, you've got to heal that for yourself here. Oh gosh, there's a message with that as well. Um, <laughs> no one can do it for you. No one's going to help you. You help yourself, okay? You you want to be that person, then you need to be that person. Don't let anyone show you how to do it. Your strength is, I feel, behind the scenes. Um, and so if you don't know how to do things, uh you know then you you need to know someone who knows how to do it <laughs> but it's all about you having control and taking charge and um in your own way okay not everyone is a boss babe boss girl people are like the silent heroes okay um right 
Six of Pentacles. Wow, part one had this as well. It's two different decks. We've got the same energies coming up. So this is like a bonus energy I feel here for you. It is very lucky, but when I said no one's coming to help you, this is really interesting because this is the card of assistance and support. Um, so you do have that, believe it or not, it is there for you. But I think what they're saying is you shouldn't rely on it. Um, you, you know, the assistance is there, the support is definitely there for you. Angelic support, spirit guides help, um, practical help as well. It is all there for you, um, but you need to not rely on it. It's, like, it, it's to make things easier for you, not to do things for you, okay? Yeah, see, hard work and effort. People do see you as a hard worker, but I think this is it. They don't see you kind of getting those rewards that you deserve just now. Um, and that you should be doing more with what you have. Uh, they see you sometimes as this hermit, you know, this uh, this kind of isolated energy. But the hermit's very powerful because he's figuring things out. He's figuring out how to do things, what he's going to do, what his moves are. And some of you, you could well be like biding your time for the opportunity. You're waiting on that perfect um, kind of clarity you know, how to move forward, almost like you're waiting for a spiritual message. We have here um, a raven or crow, and he's just kind of sat there keeping watch, but the birds are really powerful in terms of bringing messages through from spirit for you. Um, but yeah, people may see you as this, but that doesn't mean that's who you are, okay? I just feel like I need to clarify that for somebody there who's watching. Don't worry, okay? We all do things in our own time and everybody is different. Everyone has their own strengths. Um, you certainly have yours. There's a lot of strengths in giving to others, you know? Uh, you have to be strong to do that. So, pile two, that was your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care and I'll see you next time.